Hello and welcome to the Stabila eCampus. We at Stabila have been developing and producing measuring tools of the highest quality for professional use since 1889. Today, my colleague Michael Haag and I are presenting our rotating lasers LAR160 and LAR160G. Rotating lasers are basically only used by professionals in the construction industry. That's why today we are not going to talk about how a rotating laser works in general and what it's used for, but rather concentrate on presenting the features and specialities of these two Stabila models. Michael, there are many, many rotating lasers on the market in different price ranges. In another eCampus video, we talk about our high-performance lasers LAR350 and LAR300. For whom are the models LAR160 and 160G made for? These two lasers are ideal for anyone who needs to level horizontally over long distances or even vertically and is looking for a robust laser that is quickly ready for use, particularly easy to operate and not too much a burden on the budget. Ah. Well, that sounds good. Let's take a closer look. We have the two models here. How do they differ? <laughs> Um, we have the LAR160 here, which has red laser lines. Mm -hmm. And the LAR160G then has green laser lines. Exactly. Green laser lines are up to four times more visible than red ones. So why isn't the LAR160 uh, only available in the green version? Because uh, depending on the application, a red laser may be more useful mm. than a green one. Rotating lasers are usually used outdoors. Mm -hmm. There you can't see the laser line anyway and you work with a receiver. Because red laser lines consume less energy mm -hmm. than green lasers, the laser therefore runs longer before you have to change or recharge the batteries. Mm -hmm. They are, in the end, the more sensible choice for outdoor use. Mm -hmm. Then I use the green laser, the LAR160G, indoors where the distances are shorter and I work more likely on the visible line instead with the receiver. That's how it is. Or if I work both, mm. indoors and outdoors, mm. then I'm more flexible with the green version. As with all our green lasers, we have installed our Stabila green beam technology with extremely powerful high performance diodes. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the performance figures. How is the range? With both versions, I have a very large working area with a diameter of up to 600 meters mm -hmm. or 2,000 feet. Mm -hmm. That should be really sufficient for the vast majority of applications. What about the accuracy? Uh, the laser, so both versions, has an accuracy of plus minus 0.1 millimeter per meter over the entire temperature mm -hmm. range. For our American viewers, that's one-eighth of an inch at 100 feet. Mm -hmm. You just specifically mentioned the temperature range. Why did you do that? Because the accuracy of lasers is influenced by the ambient temperature. Mm -hmm. Very few manufacturers talk about this and you have to do really a lot of research to find out in which temperature range the advertised accuracy is actually maintained. Mm -hmm. At Stabila, we attach great importance to ensuring that the values we specify are always adhered to. For the LAR160, those are the plus minus uh, one millimeter mm. per meter from minus 10 degrees to plus 50 degrees Celsius during operation mm. and from minus 25 degrees to plus 70 degrees mm. Celsius during storage. Again, for our American viewers, that's 14 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit during operation mm -hmm. and minus 13 degrees to 158 degrees during storage. This is indeed a very, very right temperature range and by no means a matter, of course, mm -hmm. on the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the running time? Both lasers are very economical. So with two D 1.5 watt batteries, the LAR160G mm -hmm. has an operating time of around 30 hours mm -hmm. and the LAR160 around 40 hours. If that's not enough, both models can be equipped with the separately available AE LAR160 lithium ion mm -hmm. battery unit. Okay. This lasts for up to 30 hours of operation and can be recharged in six hours. At Stabila, we attach 
particular importance to the robustness of all our products. What can you tell us about the robustness of these lasers? For us, robustness in electronic products always means protection against mechanical influences mm. and protection against dirt and moisture. Mm, okay, so what about mechanical impacts? Um, so there we have a shock absorbing soft grip case casing mm -hmm. with four handles to protect the device from Nox drops. The laser optics are also protected by a sturdy housing head. Mm -hmm. If you are already familiar with our LAR350 or LAR300 rotating lasers, these have the extremely durable Stabila protector system where we even guarantee that drops with a tripod from a height of up to 1,80 m or 6 feet will not damage the laser. But there we are in a different higher price range. Exactly. And yet, even with these much lower priced devices, we have built in some protection mm -hmm. against falls. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next challenge for electronic products in the rough tough everyday life on construction sites, dust, moisture, water. Mm -hmm. uh, you really have to be careful how tight the devices are you want to use. Uh, you can recognize the tightness by the protection class. These models have an extremely high level of tightness. Mm. They are waterproof and dustproof in accordance with protection class IP65, which means that the laser can be operated even in constant rain and is not affected by dust. I must emphasize this once again. Protection class IP65 is very, very high. Um, this is by far not normal in this uh, category. If you look around the market, rotating lasers usually have a much lower protection class, especially at that price range. That's absolutely true. And during development, it was very important to us not to compromise on tightness, despite the relatively low price. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, you mentioned that this is a laser which is very easy to set up and operate. Mm -hmm. So. How easy is it? <laughs> because you only need in the end one button to operate it. Mm. I already switched it on, uh, so you can do that with that button over mm. here with the on and off switch. And after that, around 20 seconds, the laser starts to rotate. Oh, it's already starting mm. and I can start the measuring. Mm -hmm. That's indeed very simple. But uh, I see two more buttons there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, one, there it reads tilt. Yes, one is the tilt mode and the other one over here is the manual mode. So, tilt mode means? The tilt function warns of faults that have occurred. This means that they do not go unnoticed and incorrect measurements are prevented. This operating mode is always set immediately after switching on. So if the laser is rotating like it does in the moment and it is then moved, for example, because someone accidentally bumps into it, the LED light mm. flashes red and the rotation stops. I can then use the tilt button to restart the rotation after I have checked the positioning of the laser and corrected it if necessary. And we can see it now here, you accidentally mm. bumped into the laser. Very accidentally. Yeah, yeah, and here you can see the tilt mm. LED flashes red and I can now quit the tilt mode. The mm -hmm. laser knows now, okay, the user mm. saw that there is something wrong, mm. checked it again and now the, it's leveling again and rotating again. Okay, perfect. Then we have the second button mm -hmm. uh, that reads manual. Yeah. The manual mode is there that uh, you can level the laser and align manually. Mm -hmm. uh, motorized self-leveling and re-leveling is then not activated. Mm -hmm. This is for example helpful if you need an inclination that goes beyond the 5 degrees inclination range of the laser. Mm -hmm. And therefore I just press here the man button, yeah. then it is activated and okay. now as you can see I can just uh -huh. move it to the side. The laser will not level because it's in the yeah. manual mode and then you have every inclination you want to have okay. at the wall. Perfect. What else is there to say about the equipment? Um,
In addition to the rotating beam, which we see the whole time, there is a plumb beam upwards. Mm -hmm. This allows me to transfer a defined point from the floor to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. To transfer a plumb line from the floor to the ceiling, the laser device with the four markings here on the housing mm -hmm. uh, is aligned exactly with the cross marking. The intersection of the cross mark corresponds to the emerging plumb laser beam here at the top mm -hmm. of the device. And if I use the laser vertically, I have a 90 degrees angle and can align drywall, for example. So you have the line here, yeah. you have the plumb yeah. line here, exactly 90 degrees. That's right. Yeah. So I usually mount the laser on a tripod. Yes. How do I do that? I use the two built-in 5 8 inch tripod connection threads, mm -hmm. one at the bottom of the laser mm -hmm. and the other one is in the handle of the back. Perfect. Then, then let's now move to the receiver, yes. which comes with it. A rotating laser only really makes sense in combination with the receiver, which captures and displays the laser line over long distances. The LAR160 and LAR160G always come with the REC160RG. What is so special about the receiver? The REC160RG is a robust very precise and extremely compact receiver. As the name suffix RG suggests, it is suitable for both red mm -hmm. and green laser beams. Mm -hmm. It has acoustic and visual guidance and offers a high level of convenience as it has two digital displays, one at the front mm -hmm. and one here at the back. Mm. And this is clever, this is very convenient as you are usually standing behind the receiver when detecting the line making it much easier to work with the displays on the back. Yeah. What is this uh, button in the middle for? So this button here in the middle allows me to choose between two accuracy levels. Mm -hmm. When switching on, fine is set here. You can see that here at the top with yeah. this symbol, um, which is the plus minus one millimeter or one thirty second of an inch in mentioned above. Mm -hmm. By pressing the button itself, I can switch to cores, mm -hmm. which is then plus minus three millimeter or one eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. And then we have another button here. Probably this is the signal tone. Exactly. I can use it to adjust the volume of the signal tone in two steps mm -hmm. or switch it off completely. Mm -hmm. What about the robustness? Um, the REC160RG is waterproof and dustproof in accordance with IP66. So there is no need to worry even under harsh conditions. Very nice. So let's have a look at the scope of delivery. With pleasure. So I just grabbed the carrying case. Um, the laser itself comes in a robust hard shell carrying case in which the laser and all accessories can be conveniently and safely stored. Mm -hmm. I just open it that we can take a look into it. Mm -hmm. So here is the place for the laser itself. For sure that's outside mm -hmm. already. We have here the batteries for the detector and for the laser itself. Mm -hmm. The detector itself, we have all the documents, a quick start and mm -hmm. guarantee inf warranty information. And on this side we have the red target plate. Uh, at the green version for sure, it's then the green target plate. And with the red version there also comes a laser goggle with the device which makes the laser beam more visible. Mm -hmm. And I have to say it's not for protecting the eyes, it's for making, as you said, the lines more visible. Exactly. That's important to know. Yeah. Uh, and at the green version we don't have these laser goggles because the green beam itself is better visible than the red one, so okay. it's not necessary. Okay. So these are the five piece and four piece sets, mm -hmm. but we also have another set in our program. Exactly. Um, the red LAR160 laser is also available as a seven-piece set with our high-quality and robust BSTS construction tripod and the NL leveling rod. Perfect. You then have everything together for leveling on the construction site. Michael, thank you once again for your very interesting explanations. As always, it was a great pleasure. For me too. Okay, dear viewers, are you looking for a robust and reliable rotating laser with which you can carry out your leveling tasks easily and conveniently? Then I advise you to take a closer look at the Stabila LAR160 or, if you work indoors, 
a lot, or if you move often from outside to inside and vice versa, the green version LAR160G. Thanks to protection class IP65, both lasers can withstand dirt and water, have excellent performance values and make your work extremely easy with their one button operation and the two digital displays in the receiver. There are many more videos on our Stabila official YouTube channel in the eCanvas playlist, including videos on our LAR350 and the LAR300 rotating lasers, so why not take a look at them too? Many thanks and good luck with everything you tackle.